Hazardous Material Operations Level Training is required for those key employees expected to take defensive measures to stop the spread of a chemical spill and assist in the isolation of the area until a cleanup contractor or off-site hazmat team can arrive. Our Hazardous Material Specialist combines classroom exercises, computer simulations, and actual spill scenarios to test each responder's ability to work within the incident command system to ensure the safety of employees while minimizing the impact of the facility. The duration of the class is based on the functions outlined in the facility's emergency response plans. For example, if the team members are expected to don self-contained breathing apparatus in order to control the spread of a chemical release, then a 16 or 24 hour program will be necessary. If the team's only role is to isolate the area without donning protective equipment, then a minimum of eight hours of training would be required under OSHA. NFPA recommends firefighters receive 24 hours of training due to the unknown nature of all the hazardous materials in the community and accidents involving the transportation of hazardous substances. Hazmat operations level training is ideal for those facilities that need to minimize the risk to employees and the environment, but cannot justify the expense of an on-site hazmat technician team. Hazmat 